Hi YouTube, today I'm playing Mordekaiser Nessus. Yesterday we had our fun with Elder Dragon, so for today, let's try out Mordekaiser. The game plan is simple, place more units in the early game so that you can kill them to play powerful cards. And if you have Mordekaiser on board, every unit you slay will come back, giving you endless resources to play with. And fun fact, Mordekaiser's ability can stack, so if you attack twice with him, prepare to start draining 2 instead of 1. And without further ado, enjoy the gameplay! Hmm, okay. He's playing more of a... His deck is basically better than mine, honestly. Ah, uh, this gonna be... I mean, I do have endless value with Undying anyway, so... We'll see. Should I keep you against this mirror match? I mean, mine's gonna die to Vengeance, right? Let's be honest. Should I keep this though? I think I should. It's a pretty good card that I keep Undying, get a good static unit. It also has Deadless, so it helps level Mordekaiser very easily. You know what? I'm keeping this hand. It's a bit weird, but eh, it's not the worst thing in the world. That's also quite good. I'll pass. That's quite good as well. I mean, unless he has Viego or Mordekaiser, then that's not that good. But if he has like full board of uh, Deadless units or something like that, I could just clear the board. It's not too shabby. Glimpse Beyond. Eh, okay. Should I kill that with the triple spell here? I mean, should I? I think I pass. He's obviously gonna attack here. Yeah, I'll do this and I'll glimpse kill. He could hate spike me, but that's alright. I'm just trying to profit with the whole, you know, killing thing. Okay, he didn't do anything. Let's go. Wow, more spells. <laughs> okay. I have I have two of the sound drops and two uh two of the tree drops. Okay. Crumble. I'll just ban down here. I will mana for this and next I'll go for you. And turn 7 go for this to kill off Undying again and you and resummon you. Okay, pretty good turn. Maybe Nancy's on turn 6 would be nice as well. That's fine. Play will obviously just be attacking here. He's not gonna block, obviously. Can I go for this? Eh, pass. I can go for that next turn anyway. That's quite good because the Undying will keep on resummoning himself, so it's basically endless value. Why not? I'll do this. I'm not gonna take too much damage, I'm not going to take too much damage, that's fine. Oh wait, soft the kill? Kill an ally but it can spill. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Oh, it's Q and ally 2 do 4 damage, this one is... Wait, what? I thought most spells when you went like, if you stop the unit, the thing would still queue off my undying. Well, that was kind of weird. I, would, I could still go for this though, it's not that bad for play, honestly. That was kind of weird. I thought if you try to go for like a Q spell until you're undying, even though they stopped it, you would still keep it off undying, right? Hmm, I don't know man. So this attack seems fine though. Good block, but then I go Mordekaiser next turn anyway to resummon him and give it deadless, so should be A okay, in my opinion. Sure. He's a bit, not too shabby. He's a 4 to 15. He has his own one, okay. 4 out of 15 as well. I'll play this. Should I try to kill that? Probably not. He has deadless anyway. I'll play this. And I'll just pass and play... Um... Is that... What? Don't think that makes sense, bro. Because, because I'm just gonna play Mordekai's and Savage. And I'm gonna revive that. And not revive that, but get it in my hand again. Is that the correct play? Probably not. I think killing 2-1 should be the priority, honestly. He does have two units, so he, if he plays his own uh, Mordekaiser, it's not that good value. I do get good value because I can kill this and the five one. He does play Viego though, so yeah, sure. I could crumble here, but they would deny me a pretty strong turn though. I think I'm freaking just doing this. I don't care, man. Get a five tree out, get a draw card, three summon you, so I get another draw. Why not? Let's get Mordekaiser on board, man, shall we? Because now every time I kill another unit, I'll just revive it. Yeah, he's just passing. I'll pass as well. Oh, and, oh my god, that's amazing. Do that? Okay, that doesn't flip though, sadly. If, if, imagine, imagine. Crumble? Crumble, maybe? Eh, crumble, I guess. I, I'm a bit worried getting a full board of Undying, so... Because they basically do nothing. I think I'm just doing this. Sure. I have running Nation anyway, so I can stop like a big spell like Ruination if he actually runs that card. Hate Spy, okay. 
Makes sense. Hmm. Guess I'm going for this then, huh? Sure. I do get another Undying, but I can replace it anyway. So so it doesn't clog up board space. Vengeance might okay bro. What if I just do this? Or what if he hates by that? <laughs> that's not that's not a really good idea, man. He kills, he kills, he remembers. I yeah, re I'm relegation here always. Come in. Let's try to kill Viego. Okay, it works. Let's go. <laughs> After all of that. Get an undying with that unit. He gets stung. He get does get a miss the block, but I'm alright with that. Kill you off to kill Viego. Draw a card. Resummon it as well. So another draw card basically. How much? Uh, you're 10 out of 15. Okay, next turn you might. Uh, not next turn, but on my next attack, you might actually flip. And then you do the whole. You know, every time I slay a unit, I train. That'd be nice. Wait. Oh no. He, he denies me the infinite draw. Come on, bro. But that's a bit sad. Because I only get to pop the revive thing if I only slay my own ally. Not him slaying my own ally. That's such a nice animation for a challenge. I mean, makes sense. New champion, obviously. I think I go for this. It's free damage, why not? I'm gonna summon an Undying afterwards, by the way. It's gonna be a 4-4. What's up, man? A Nana Dying? Definitely don't need to. Diego, what's up? Instantly leveling Mordekaiser, I get a full board of units. It's not that bad of an idea, honestly. He only has 4 mana, he can't vengeance here. If I go for... He does help his Diego level, but at that point, I mean, I don't really care. So I'm gonna go for this. Obviously, correct play might just be vengeance in Diego, but I'm not, uh, you know, a smart guy, so I'm going for this. Just so I can level Mordekaiser and attack him next turn. Yep, let's go. So let's level Mordecai dude. Get to five fire attacker units and undying. What a badass animation. Yeah, pretty good. I also revive uh, another undying, right? Yeah. I don't really mind. Do I block? I think I always block there. Yeah, I think I'm not quite block. Wait, what? It's kinda weird. If you wanted to attack, you should put Diego in, then uh, miss. Basically, he needs to swap the places, by the way, so I don't get to just heal the damage anyway. Um, pass. Yeah, this looking like a GG at this point. There's no way he comes back from this. What's up, Undying? You're back. Fairly, I do have boss space for you, but that's fine. GG, good game. Yeah, and I have the aura attack now, so every time I slay a unit, I also get the drain line for free, by the way. I mean, what could you have? I don't think there's... I mean, sure, sure... Oh wait, he actually survives here. Wait, what the hell? No. Do this. Deny, GG. Also, Motokai, all Motokaiser get the lifts now, because I vengeance the Diego. Let's go. GG. Good game. Drain some life. Why not? While I'm at it. I thought he might actually win, because Diego is a pretty threatening card when he flips, but I guess he just didn't really have that much firepower in him, huh? GG. Raven Gwen. Alright. Hollow stuff and Reforged junk. Honestly, gonna be a pretty hard matchup. I mean, turn 2, then this on turn 3 could be good. Just snipe off some units. Don't think I keep it though. This is kind of funny if we can give something deadless, but I don't have like Nasus or Mordekaiser yet, so I think I will get these 3. Try to find some more early game units to play, honestly. Oh, wow, we. I mean, I do run two copies of it, but that's pretty much it, and I somehow drew all two of them. Okay, hopefully he's playing it quite slow as well. Don't have like a two-drop, please. Just pass here. Oh, let's go. I'm passing. There's no way I'm playing, obviously. Well, it's not too bad as well. I think I will just play this. It's technically way better than the fading icon, because it draws, so it allows me to see my options. Could go Crumble here if he decides to play Gwen. Oh, that's a pretty good card. Uh, I think this is not too shabby. Like the next time you revive an ally, right? They're basically undying, and then undying will get revived, and this will just always come back into my hand. Basically infinite, I guess. I think I always go for Crumble here, right? Uh, I guess to play it safe, I should just play, uh, play you. I am worried about his own hate spike. The same. 
he runs hate spike, I know that. So trying to play around it. Gonna go for Grim's Beyond and we should be a-okay for now. Draw two cards. Get some undyings here would be nice. Oh that's fine. Um, is that good? That's pretty good actually. It has Deadless, so it would resummon itself. That's pretty good of a spell though. Okay, so I guess fading icon here. This turn five. And then kill off the zero one to get back another one of the uh the one one that was you know killed by games beyond quietus i'm i'm fine with that um a okay i'll pass here should i go for this now so there's two plays oh nasus how big is nasus five five okay i could play this i could kill you and you know play a five tree with deadless or i can just play you into this I mean, both plays are not too shabby. This heals, and this is, you know, kills off Gwen if he doesn't have Fate Spike. I think I just go for this. This should be slightly better. If Because I can actually, you know, still attack with him. It's, it's still a pretty decent blocker because it resummons itself anyway. Should not be a problem. And it also heals, so why not? Heal your Nexus by 2 uh, with Last Breath. So it actually heals for 4 because, you know, resummon itself with the Deadless ability. He's playing toss cards. Okay. That's interesting. He's playing lifesteal in the Raven Gwen deck. I mean, okay. Pass. Why is he playing lifesteal? Is he that worried about aggro? Okay, that's a bit annoying. He gets to pull this away, basically. Should I attack with here? He's always gonna use this to block anyway, I'm pretty sure, at least. Sure. I guess I should force out the block here. And just drain some life. Oh, he's not blocking? Okay, makes sense. He's just wanting to push as much damage as possible, huh? If I do this, if I just do this, resummon itself, then I just commit to this and I go this to kill Gwen here if possible, if I'm lucky and then he doesn't have Fate Spike. Okay. So I get a 5 tree out, I heal it. The stun doesn't really matter because, you know, next turn it will not be stunned and I'll go for this to try to kill Gwen here so she doesn't flip. Pass. And I get back another 1-1, one -one. look at that. This is infinite. If I have, you know, uh, Undying here. Sadly, I do not. That is pretty rough. I'm one minute short of going for this, so I can't go for this. I guess I should just crumble here. Kill you off. This would pull this away, kill you off. Okay, crumble here should be the play. I need a snap of Gwen. If he buffs Gwen with the whole overwhelm thing, and that's a lot of damage, I need the tank. Okay, thank god it worked. Thought he would have his own hate spike, but he didn't, so let's go. Okay, attacking here. Okay, sure. They support this, pull, push overwhelm damage, that's fine. I got hate spike here. Can I actually go for like something like this? Or would this be better? Nah, I think I just tanked it. Resolve. I'm fine. I'll just play you. Play like this and maybe go for this. Not Nasus already level level. Look at that giga chat. Okay. Do I play Nasus here? Mm, oh, I don't have any units to though. Sadly. Nasus? Or do I just go for this? Um, kind of worried of you playing a champion. He plays like a Nat. You know what? I'm going for it. I am going for it. I am really worried that if he has like rap ribbon crap. Oh, we can still play Nasus actually. Yeah, I guess I play Nasus here. I attack with him. I go for these two next. Okay. Or if he develops like a wind up board, I can go for this next turn as well. Life steal again. Okay. Uh, always attacking with Nasus here. Pretty sure. There's nothing he could do. Actually, that's fine. How many Hollow Sacks does he have? He has four of them already. Okay. He reforged once already. He could actually potentially give this Overwhelm maybe. I put this up front and this would give Riven Overwhelm as well. Eh, I'm fine and wrong. He's gonna summon the Hallows and the Reforge again. So that's the second time he Reforged, I'm pretty sure. Oh, NASA Strike Spell? Is that good? I don't think it. I mean, it could be good. I can just go Mordekaiser here, honestly. If I go Mordekaiser, I kill these two, I resummon them. I have four blockers, but I don't get to you know, have Mana to respond to any of his shenanigans if he goes for something. He does go for Overwhelm, okay, sure. 
So I'm guessing he's gonna put this in front. He's gonna use this as a pot ribbon. Yep, he is going to go for that. Okay. I'm not dead. I do have this. So I could snipe off you for now. I am not gonna die, right? There's no way I die here. Okay. So I basically do this. I do this. I do this. I don't die yet. I want him to play spells. Then I'll go for it. That's not, because I know he doesn't run burn anyway. Yeah, okay. He's going for might here. He needs to play one more spell, man. Like, like some of Wrath, maybe? He does go for it. Okay. He's also trying to kill off Nasus here. Sure. So I always go for this. So I can just kill off Riven. Nasus will also get plus 2, plus 2. So he would survive the 11 4. And this should be A okay. Yeah. Kill you. Draw card. Get plus 2, plus 2. Snipe you off. Don't take uh, any. I do take three, but I'm not dead anyway. I'm, he doesn't run burn. I, yeah, I think the only burn he runs is maybe Nausea Fervor, but that's pretty much it. Play Mordekai the next turn. Um, Nausea Fervor. Oh my god, it is. Okay, okay. Then I just go for this, right? No way, I can't. What if I do this? I would survive here, I guess. Nessus will get plus one. I still don't die. Crap, he really did have a Nausea Fervor there, huh? Really impressive, honestly. I guess I go for this. Can't really haste spike anything else. This should be the play. Okay, he didn't have an another knock. Thank god. Pearson, sure. I'm dying. Oh, wow. You finally showed up, huh? Look at that. Do I just play undying? I guess so. Do I? Yeah, sure. This, that, this point I'm gonna play you, I'm gonna shoot Nasus and Undying. I'm gonna resummon both of them anyway. I'm gonna attack and should be game, honestly. Pass. If you top stacks are not sure if he wins, by the way. I'm just saying. Oh my god, now do I just save mana for this to play around? There's no way he top stacks not sure if I'm gonna play Maokai. I know Maokai and Mortar Kaiser here. He's not yet flipped, man. He needs one more unit to actually die, then he'll flip. I'm so close. He needs to slay 15, yeah. Crap. That's fine though. It should be lethal. Wait, is that enough? That's not enough. Mordekaiser would flip. Oh wow. That has a. Okay, look at that, man. Oh my god. That's beautiful. But I still can't level Mordekaiser. I was so close. That's fine. I think I'm fine just winning at this point. There's no reason to really, you know, gloat. I'm, I'm fine just winning. He needs to buff Riven up the tree attack to actually be able to block. Which I don't think he is gonna be able to afford for that. It must be done. Yep, still leader. Yep, GG. This would kill this and this would be 90 in the face. GG. I need to kill one more unit, man. Ah. Oh, wait, he slipped. Oh. Oh, Riven blocking and dying there. Okay. That's kinda nice, but he doesn't do the whole, you know, Nexus aura thing. But at least he flipped, so GG. Evelyn Mordekaiser. So his Mordekaisers are gonna, you know, flip better than mine. Not flip, but it's gonna level quicker. Because he's gonna eat up the house, right? And that's this free level up for Mao. Um, no, why, keep, why am I keep saying Maokai? It's freaking Mordekaiser. Should I keep you? Probably not. I'm obviously gonna keep on dying though. Duh. Probably maybe keep high hit spike. Yeah, it's a good snipe onto domination. Like, country you into hate spikes, not too shabby. This is questionable. Yeah, this is very, very questionable. A glimpse gone. Hmm, sure, draw. Oh, he loses. Yeah, that's stupid. You don't like to see that. I guess I'm playing U-turn 6 rather than Nasus, huh? Go get elusive. Quick attack. Eh, is that bad? Maybe. Could be worse though. Domination having quick attack is not really much of a big deal in my opinion. Spell. Now that's a big problem. Like spell shoot onto Evelyn is basically unkillable. I have nothing to do here with a uh, spell shoot Evelyn. The same. I am gonna kill Domination here. Elusive. <laughs> that's funny. Pass. What's up, Andai? You're back. Mordekaiser. Uh, nothing to play on turn four. It's pretty bad of a turn. I guess I attack like this. He's not gonna block. He's gonna play Evelyn here. 
I'm gonna glimpse beyond my elusive unit. Oh wait, no, I should glimpse beyond undying. And then see whether or not I can top lane to a good enough unit to play. Yeah, he does play Evelyn. Pretty Don't good turn, worry. honestly. It's not my first time. Quick attack again, okay. See what's beneath while I see what's inside. I'll just go for do I I think I would just do undying. I want the undying to be, you know, big, obviously. So we can actually put it in some damage. Hate spike. That's not that bad. I could give Nasus um deadless, I'm pretty sure. Who do I give deadless to? I think I give it onto Nasus. If Nasus dies, ah, oh, I think it's always gonna be Nasus, right? Yeah, it's always Nasus. There's no way it isn't Nasus, let's be real. I could give it to Rekindler, but like Nasus into Mordekaiser is such a good play. Because I just get like two Nasus out. Double quick <laughs> that's a lot. What if they make a change where if you soak up two quick attack units, you just get double attack? That would be hilarious. Eh, not a dying. Sand sucks. <laughs> just saying. Other than that, meh. Doggo? Okay. I mean, I don't really mind Doggo having quick attack. So. Let's go pass, that's fine. 5 out of 10, a 15. 3 out of 15. Okay, I'll play Undying again. Why not at this point? Harder. Okay. I think I always just tank the damage. Yeah. Yeah, I think I skip. Really? Uh, this is such a good turn though to play not a Nasus on turn 6, right? Into Mordekaiser. I think I always go quit. To be the play. Illu of course, of course, of course. More. Why am I not surprised? Vengeance, what's up? Play like Nasus here. Into Mordekaiser to queue off Nasus so I can get two Nasus out. Into Rekiller maybe? Yeah, we'll see. Lonely Chime Slime? Why are you running this card? I mean, sure, that that's infinite Chime basically, the whole hush thing, but I mean, that's not really good. Not that good. But alright. I think I'm fine attacking like this. The fact that you know, Evelyn has elusive, I can't attack with this unit no more, so this seems like a pretty decent attack. He trading with Nasus? Bro. Nasus is really gonna be get resummoned as a yeah, that's not a good idea. Not really too smart. Nasus does as fearsome, so he you can only use Evelyn the law. Vengeance, okay. But that's you know a bit sad. At least he got resummoned, which is nice. I guess so, resolve. This gets revived. That's not too bad. Like, that's so good. Because Nasus gets the plus one plus one uh, itself, so it's technically. Even though Nasus should be, you know, having one health only because of the deadless ability, Nasus has five health because, you know, he himself will just cons constantly buff itself every time I slay a unit anyway. So, that's a pretty good buff. Like, look at that, it's a 7 5, not a 7 1. Or Kaiser? Oh, that's such a good turn. Should I kill you off my own no Nasus at this point? I don't think I should, but I kind of want to. I honestly want to just play Rekindle here. Ah, uh, what do I play? Do I play this? You know what? I'm just playing this. No way, no. That's not good. Dude, is it? I mean... I'm playing Mordekaiser here, don't care. I'm playing the Giga Chat himself. Kill you? He doesn't have Elusive anymore, so. Sure. Let's go for it. I'm obviously not gonna kill on that, he's gonna clog out my box face. Not really that good of an idea. This is a 9 9 now, I can even hate Spider to just flip him. Yeah, pretty good. He's gonna pull the 4 2, obviously. I'm fine with that. Then he's he's mock uh yeah I don't think he ever pulls there. If he pulls, then this will go to five health, and I can use my Mordekaiser to just kill his Mordekaiser. Not that smart of a play. I think I always open attack next turn, right? Yeah, I always open attack next turn. Regen, that's fine. I mean, infinite one cost unit may be good. Do you? Attack like this, maybe you as well. Nasus at the back, so if Eric, like some units kill, he'll get plus one plus one, and then you flip as well. That's pretty good. I can vengeance and crumble his own Mordekaiser anytime I want. 
Just not gonna do it just yet. Time to die. That's fine. I think it's four here. Shut up and scream. I mean, taking ten damage to the face though. Time yeah, he needs to block here. Shut up and scream. Mm, okay. Do you want to block or not? Just, just decide. If I were him, honestly, I would just just tank the undying. I'm that confident. But he has like. Vengeance maybe onto the north, uh, Nasus? Glyn's beyond, okay. The free good. He gets to get back the doggo again. Draw three cards for free. I could Vengeance that, I guess. <laughs> I think I'd rather say Vengeance for his own, uh, Mordekaiser though, let's be real. I'll resolve here. I'm fine with that. I, am not done with you. I don't really mind not, uh, Nasus not flipping here anyway. It's not that big of a deal in my opinion. Can go crumble into Nasus champion spell and still flip him anyway. Should be a pretty decent turn. Okay, that's a pretty good card. Does Mordekai the flip? Not yet. No way it does. Because it ooh, slays the unit. No way that's not. Oh wait it does. But that's pretty good. I'm gonna crumble it though before he attacks obviously. I'm just gonna do that in commit. I give out another undying? Sure. What's up? So next turn he could play this again. Nine another fifteen. There's no rush really, I can play it slow. Should I have a mana for you into you next turn? I think I should. Then maybe I should play you as well then, as a blocker. Anyway, this is a 1-1 right now. Ow, I'm wrong. What's up undying? Hey, what's up, Undying? <laughs> Undying's, what's up? Four chimes. I'm okay with that. It's 57 chimes. Oh my god, I didn't realize. That's a lot. Yep, another Mordekaiser, sure. Gets even more chimes now with the whole loading chime slime thing. Um, I think this should be a pretty decent turn for the Nasus here. Yeah, pretty good. Let's go for it. Bye bye. Bong. Intertwined. The expanse of eternity stretched out before me. Um, nine hundred fifteen. Okay. Hopefully, attacks here. That's fine. Think I'm gonna play you. Q and dying here. Sure. I'm gonna pick up board space so I can play this next turn. 10 out of 15. If I go for you, or we summon as well. It's just clocking up board space. It's not attacking, which is the bad part. It's not doing a lot. What if I do this? 10 out of 15. I think I go for it. I do miss out on the harsh value, but that's fine. We just got a heal, but that's fine. I wanna level my Mordekai before he does. Sure. Undying, my Undying is actually just, you know, really just ruining my, ruining my game plan. You said just here, just clogging bot space, pass. I'm not really doing a lot. I'm gonna Undying as well. Friend Negation is a freak of spell. Chimes. 12 out of 15. There's no way I level him. Crap. QU, I don't even get enough wall space to summon the Titanic units anyway. I guess I should just attack you, huh? Sadly, I'm gonna flip him, but you know, you win some, some. Probably just pulling you, man. You just pull you. Attack like this, force a block, into the 6 drop. There's no way, he could vengeance, but I do have renegation anyway, so just stop it. That's a pretty good top deck. He does try to avenge his Mordekaiser here. But that's boring. He does flip, but he doesn't, you know, do the level thing. Guess I'm going for it. Actually, I could. Nah, it's not worth it, bro. What if he has the 3 cost card that just deals 5 damage to my Undying? That's not worth it. 
Wait, why am I healing? Oh yeah, this that unit dies. Okay, makes sense. I'm like, why does why do I heal? I mean, but that's fine. It, I heal because of this unit die. Now Monokai is split now, let's go. Wait, now he isn't? What the flip? Why does he show it flipping just now? Oh, because I used run negation to oh that makes sense now, that's fine. I almost misplayed, thank god. I'm just gonna do this, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Now let Maokai, uh, Mordecai just flip. Okay, let's go. He does have a, a lot of hard draw, but I do have Rikina to resummon my own Nasus. I do have my own Badgers to stop his own Mordecai. He does get to do a lot of dead, uh, deadless things, maybe? Wait, what do he give? Maybe he gives like uh, not, another Mordecai, but he has it for that. That's quite nice as well, just pop the spell shield for thing that I do not like, potentially. I'm pretty sure I don't get to do the fight damage though, right? He has a lot of big units in hand, I'm, because he hits a lot of chimes recently. Yep, he does play his own Mordecai. He's the door. The chime slime is so good here, because he just kills all the units and we summon them anyway. I should probably play chime slime as well. Nah, I don't think so. I'm just gonna vengeance you, mid. And time with my Mordekaiser, and then drain life. Oh crap! Oh no 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 no! He gets resummoned, but he gets stunned. Okay, thank God, thank God, Deadless stuns the unit afterwards, so he can't attack with his own Mordekaiser just yet. Okay, I was a bit worried there, but he get yeah he gets stunned, so should not be a problem. Not a lonely chimes time. I mean, I don't really care. Pass. I want him to attack with the 8 8. I block with the 8 4. I go this to kill you off and you. Nah, it's not doing the play I want him to do. So, yeah, at this point I win. Right? Like, I have infinite healing now. And infinite units that are gonna be resumbling. I also have Rick Killer in hand. Um. GG. Now if he doesn't block, he takes damage, but if he blocks, I get to slay his own units, buffing up my Nasus, and also draining life. So he should be dead. Yeah, that's the game. I want him to kill this unit off. Please block like this, thank you. Yeah, so I can just do this to kill you off, and then this will summon another one of copy of you, which is really good. Okay, let's go. I get to drain 5 life for free. Not broken at all. Actually no, 3 life only. Because I only get to heal 3. What is this? Could be Vengeance again. How many you already play? Oh, you trying to kill my Mordekaiser? Ain't no way I'm allowing that bro. What should I do? I can't let him, I mean... I guess so, I guess. I guess I do it. I guess I'm just doing this. Oh, wait, what? why do you still die? Oh crap, because... Wait, what? Then he didn't- he did not actually- Oh yeah, he's trying to protect his own Mordekaiser. I guess that makes sense. If he's going for that, then what if I just do this? I just target you to kill, um, you. Target you to kill you. Yeah, that's not smart. Let's do this to this. Okay, but now I'm dying, eh, like smart as well. Ah, man, I'm gonna just do this, bro. I'm killing my Mordekaiser to kill his Mordekaiser. Yeah, fair play. Commit. Killing my units, I'm gonna kill your unit. He's trying to do this so he would do 8 damage so he, his Mordekaiser would flip and then he would do the drain thing. But I ain't allowing that, bro, obviously. None beyond my reach. Let's go. I shall not fade. Two chimes, oh my god, this unit is so big. Don't get elusive, thank god, okay, guess I'm fine. Okay. Pinch, oh my god, in chimes. 69 chimes is it back. Nasus is gonna be, <laughs> does it with compare to his units now? Maybe. You will summon Nasus, I'm pretty sure. You don't summon Mordekaiser, sadly. Uh, if only you could, but that's fine. No way, you do summon Mordekaiser. You do. Because Mordekaiser is technically the strongest. Even though Nasus is technically bigger, uh, Rekindler won't see the, the buff, it would only see the original stat, so Rekindler would still actually 
Re resummon Mordekaiser. Okay, let's go for it. Domination. I mean, all right. That's a nine ten. Oh my god, that's not right. That's an eight ten. Pass. Hate spike. I mean, okay. You really hates the fight too, huh? That's fine by me, honestly. <laughs> not a challenger. Okay, pass. He gets the buff from Domination, but Ness is like, I ain't allowing that, bro. Going on a zero attack. Two times. So that was a pretty low roll for him. Dog, okay. The 7 Eleven. What's up, 7 Eleven? 6 Eleven. 6 30. Five times, bro. What the hell is this? I'm playing Rekindler here. What's up, Monica? That's 6 9. Oh, wait, no. 8-11, okay. Oh yeah, because I tagged with the Nasus Champion spell, right? I guess it makes sense, but I missed out on the perfect stat line. Just saying. I have the patience to wander for centuries. Evelyn, okay. Oh my god, that's pretty big. What if I just do this? If I just do this, I will get another Mordekaiser, right? Oh my god, that's so good. Um, tank, tank. I'm just gonna use this to pull this. I block. I mean, I, I'm okay with just passing here, but I think I just go for this, right? Yeah, this is like so good. I don't think he has anything to respond with this unless he has he has his own uh three cost card that just use five damage to my own Rekiller, then maybe. But that's pretty much it. Hey spike is not enough. Only this card would deal five damage. What? He does have the three cost card? Oh he does have the three cost card. Wow. Come on. That's so boring. I mean sure, but really? Come on, let me resummon two Mordekaiser. That's fine though. Um, I mean, sure, why not? It's a 1 1. Pass. Pass, okay. Attack a chime. Attack for the rest of the game when you slay a unit. What if I attack twice? Would I have to. Oh my god. Would I have to aura twice? Does it work like that? It would be so good if it does. I, know, I guess I'll pull Doggo. Oh my, it does? The effect is more like dark green-ish. Dark green-ish, I guess. I think it does. It's a bigger circle. It stacks? That's so broken. <laughs> I kill a unit, I just drain two life. I can never die. Shut up and scream. He's so dead. Why if I just kill and die here? Let me check, let me check. Vengeance? Okay, makes sense, makes sense. So if I just do this... Oh no, I only... No, 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 that's not regret. Oh, it does stack. Oh my god. I do 4 damage. I do this. I do 6 damage. The drain effect actually stacks. That's so broke. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh my god. Now I'm even more pissed at the fact that he denied my Rekindler there. Because I would have had 2 more Kaisers. I would have propped to actually just drain 3 life. That would have been so good. Oh my god. Bro. I'm gonna kill you here. <laughs> 39 damage, bro. <laughs> this ain't even fair, bro. I'm draining two over here and I'm draining two over here. Then this Nessus will actually just bomb for the Yeah, PG. I didn't know Mordekai's can actually stack. Oh my god. That's so good. Just in. Uh, Zo Zoe doesn't actually stack. When she flips, she just give the Nexus ability, right? But every time you attack, you give the Nexus the thing. I thought it doesn't, but it does. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. GG. Thank you.